Welcome back. Chloe and I are going to be doing a video today on something called a transcranial Doppler, also known as a TCD. If you have a child that is uh, under the age of 12 or 11, then your uh, child living with sickle cell will be participating in this type of screening at least once every year. So the TCD screening is checking for an increased risk of stroke. And stroke is when you uh, lose blood flow to your brain. And it can cause paralysis and it can actually be fatal and cause death uh, depending on the size of the blockage and how long the person goes without oxygen. So the sickle cell community has developed a tool, a screening tool called, abbreviated called the TCD. That's a really simple tool that checks for an increase in velocity, which is the speed of the blood flowing up and down to the brain. So Chloe has a little picture that I drew. I am not an artist. Get a little bit closer there, Chloe. And here is my person's brain, and the red arrow going up is the blood carried to the brain, brain full of oxygen, and the blue arrow going down is the blood flow coming down with the deoxygenated blood that's dropped it off. So. When your child receives this TCD, what happens is you typically head down to radiology and they will lay down on um, just on a regular exam table. And all the ultrasound tech does is similar to what they did when you were pregnant. If you uh, gave birth to your child, they will take a little bit of that ultrasound jelly and they put it just on the side of the child's head, like right around here. And they'll just put the ultrasound Thing on here and then it shows a little picture on the screen and all they're doing is measuring the speed of the blood flow going up and coming back down uh, into your child's brain. An increased speed or velocity in above a certain number increases the risk that your child will have a stroke within the next three years. So I always, as a parent, like to know, well, what exactly are the numbers they're looking for? Because you know those ultrasound techs can't tell you anything while you're sitting there. <laughs> and you're staring at the screen and you're wondering, is it good news, is it bad news? What if my doctor can't see me? I don't wanna be blindsided. I absolutely appreciate all of those. So I went ahead and looked at what the guidelines are. There was a trial called the STOP trial that set some parameters for guidelines for doctors. If the speed is under 170, and um, what you're looking for when you're with the ultrasound tech is, it's called an MCV, which is the mean velocity of the blood flowing up and down. If it's below 170, that's considered normal. Anything above 170, they have a couple of different categories, which I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to explain the differences between um, conditional and I think it's eminent. If it's above 170, your doctor and you will have a conversation about frequent um, monitoring or uh, some other possibilities of what you can do to decrease the risk. Right now, if your child's TCD levels, if the speed of the blood flowing back and forth is extremely high, above 200, that puts them at a, a dramatically greater risk, 70% higher chance of having a stroke. Why? Why does the speed have anything to do with whether or not they're going to have a stroke? Well, if I push a bunch of blood really quickly, I'm also pushing those sickle cells really quickly, which give them an uh, even faster chance of blocking um, up together and causing that stroke because that's what a stroke is for sickle cell. It is all those sickle cells blocking that blood vessel, either heading up to the brain or heading back down. Um, the increased speed create, increases how, how fast those sickle cells are traveling in there, which increases the likelihood of them getting stuck. So if you have a severe risk, if your uh, velocity or your speed is much higher, above over 200, then um, the doctors talk about going on chronic transfusions, blood transfusions, to decrease the level of sickle hemoglobin in your body to below 30%, which then uh, decreases the overall risk of having a stroke. Check us out on the web at hopeforscd.org, and we are now on a weekly schedule for the rest of the summer, so check back um, each week to see what our new video is and consider subscribing for our YouTube channel. Thanks!